also known as Donald Trump, has stated that he feels that America needs a good shutdown. Now, this is because, once again, he can't get his way. So like a little kid, he pouts, and he cries, and he pouts, and he cries. And the reason why he's saying he wants the government to shut down or he's threatening to shut down the government is because congressional negotiations are going on. This is them trying to bust down. This is all of the legislators. They're trying to bust down how the money is going to be spent. The, the budget is going to be spent over the next several months. And he can't get his way. The Republicans need 60 uh, Senate votes which is just not there. So he went to Twitter, like he always do, except when he playing with himself. But he went to Twitter. In fact, I think when he get on Twitter, it's like a form of sexual gratification for him. But anyway, he jumped on Twitter and he said that, uh, actually his exact quote was, our country needs a good shutdown in September to fix mess. That's what he said. Now, no president in the history of the United States has ever purposely shut down the government. But once again, this dude defies the odds. And he's saying that, hey, I'm going to shut it down if I don't get in my way. Now, the deal did not include several uh, campaign promises that Donald Trump made. This, this, uh, during the, the, the plan that was laid out, the budget that, that they came up with, it didn't include any of these, uh, well, many of these issues that he touched on during his campaign run. Most notably, the wall, the big wall. So, in the, in the Republicans' mind, they're thinking that they either elect more Republicans uh, in 2018 or they can go in right now and change the rules to make it to where they only need 51% of the vote to get their way. Now this is something that you remember he did this back when they were uh, nominating, when they were trying to approve uh, Neil Gossage for the Supreme Court seat. Uh, this is the same tactic that they that they uh, that they came up with. They actually lowered the amount of votes that they needed to have to get this guy in office. That's what they did. So uh, this is the game that he plays. Uh, anytime there's a filibuster, anytime there's a situation where it ain't moving fast enough and he can't have his way, he changes the rules. So, and he said that. We're gonna, you gotta fix this mess. Man, let me tell you something about Donald Trump, AKA Cheeto Lini. This dude don't fix nothing. This dude makes messes. He don't clean them up. He makes messes and he leaves them to somebody else to clean up. That's the name of his game. For him to talk about changing the rules, it's kind of like, if you were playing a game of basketball and you say, look, man, we're going to 12. And then uh, when he gets tired, he realized that, you know what, man, I can't make it to 12. So let me change the rules to where I only need six points. And then I win. That's kind of how he played the game. Constantly moving the goalpost until he get exactly what he wants. And what's the trip is that People in America forever brag about the Constitution. Ah, oh, the Constitution. What's in, what's the Constitution say? Whatever that Constitution say, that's what we got to do. The Constitution. The Constitution. And it's all good. Especially when you start talking about gun laws and stuff. Oh, man. Constitution. Freedom of speech. Constitution. But when it's Donald Trump, shit, man. 
Okay, Trump said we need to change the Constitution. We need to change the Constitution. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. So that's how he rocked. The only game that Donald Trump can win at is a game that he fixes. It's a game that he can change the rules or lie about the rules. He can lie, he can change the rules, he can lie, uh, or he can take his ball and go home. He just end the game. You know what? I can't win. I, I, I'm just not going to play. You can't. And give me my ball. And he walk home like a sucker. Y'all remember that dude? Everybody had a dude like that in the neighborhood. He, you know, had a little bit more than other people. He'd bring his ball to the basketball court. And then if somebody don't pick him to play, he takes his ball and go home. Or if he don't get a certain call, he takes his ball and go home. That's Donald Trump, y'all. That's, that's the dude that y'all hired to become president of the United States. Now, I'm going to tell you like this. He said that the government needs to be shut down. We need our government needs to shut down. No. We need to shut your ass down. What we need to do, he said we need a good shutdown. What we need is a good impeachment. That's what we need. We need a good ass, I mean a good ass impeachment. And lock your ass up for treason. That's what we need to do for throwing the country under the bus. And going out here initiating unjust conflict. Man, if y'all don't get rid of this motherfucker, he gonna get somebody killed. He gonna get all of us killed. This dude is a nut. Congress, do your job before this man get everybody killed. Now, I suppose the idea of writing uh, legislation uh, that isn't so uh, fringe and toxic uh, that, that it can't even get passed through to his own party members never crossed his mind. I guess, that, I guess he never even thought about that. He, you know what, man? Uh, you know... This is kind of messed up. Uh, if, if, if I got so many party members going against me. And y'all know these Republicans stick together, man. They stick together. You got Republicans saying, no, man, this dude is tripping. No, he crazy. No, we can't do this. No, we're not going to do it. You got Republicans saying that. You know something is wrong with this dude. This dude is off. He ain't got it all. The mental midget. The mental midget, that's what he is, man. He's a mental midget because his brain has a stunt in growth. And he said, we get to shut down the government. Technically, in order for you to shut something down, it has to have started. I don't see where this government has really ever worked. Now, some of y'all who's been able to jar some free slave labor and a bunch of other free stuff, y'all might think it works perfectly. But I ain't never seen it working perfectly. From day one, change the rules. Now, does this mean that we change the Constitution too? We got to change the Constitution. We're going to change, uh, what else can we change? We're going to change the Constitution. Uh, so that we can make it easier for him to pass bills. Are we going to change? Uh, what else can we change? We're going to change uh, the percentage of votes that you need to get certain legislation passed. Because unlike every other POTUS before him, uh, he can't play the game. He ain't strong enough to play the game. He ain't strong enough to abide by the rules, to play by the rules. This dude is grossly incompetent. Grossly, give, give him a big old L for loser. The dude is a loser. He's not a winner. I know a lot of y'all think he a winner because he got money. But let me tell y'all something about money. Man, just because you got money don't mean you're successful. See, he, he's not a successful human being. 
Yeah, he got money. See, I, I would think that the goal in life would be to be a successful human being, not success in, in regards to just having money. Now, we you got to get money. You want to get money. Now, I ain't going to let me ever tell you that, that you don't need money. Because <laughs> you can be Mother Teresa and the Pope and all this other stuff and all these, all these great civil rights leaders and all this throughout the years. Man, if you ain't got no money, ain't nobody going to listen to you. You can't get nothing done. So you need that money. But the ultimate goal for every human being should to be should be to be a successful human being. You know, yeah, you got money, but what kind of person are you? See, that's the reason why we in a lot of the jams that we're in today, because a lot of people are taking their cue from public figures and celebrities, Hollywood, magazines, internet blogs. And this shit is all fake, man. It's all fake. And if you live your life vicariously through that, you're going to be out there making decisions that you see other people make that seemingly work for them. Man, you don't know what's going on behind the scenes. You don't know how much strife that person got in their life behind the scenes. You're watching these reality shows and all you're seeing is people having a good time. It's a false narrative. You going to Instagram and you seeing people posting in front of brand new cars and at the party and living it up and drinking and you thinking that's life. But you don't know where they're going you know, after all that's over. Most of the people that post all this fancy stuff on the internet, they broke. A lot of them just leeching. A lot of them go to club, dress up real nice, see somebody with a nice section that's, that's pouring it up, and they may not even have nothing, but they cap it for that night. And they'll go over there and just latch on to them and then just grab a glass. You know, try to be, just try to smile at somebody, act real cool, break a little conversation in. And then next thing you know, they're over there drinking. And then while they're drinking, they're taking pictures like, ha, 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 make, making, you, making you think they got it like that. It's fake, man. It's all fake. At the end of the day, what kind of person are you? See, when that highway off, what kind of person are you when that high wear off? When, that, when them drugs wear off? When them people ain't around no more? When that camera go off and you got to pay them bills or you got to ask, you got to deal with your child who may, may have uh, got into an accident, you know, drinking some poison, got into that cabinet or something because you was not being attentive because you were so worried about falling out, flossing, kicking it. What about that kid that took that gun and, and shot themselves accidentally because you was, you was not around. You was partying. You was kicking it. You trying to live it up. Man, that shit is a time and a place for everything. And your life shouldn't be predicated on having a ball, man. That, that's really not what it's about. But hey, man, you know how we are. We Americans, man. We all caught up. We all caught up. We got it all twisted. We got it all screwed. This dude... Uh, he a loser. Uh, yeah, Donald Trump is a loser. I don't give a damn how much money he got. I don't care how many golf courses he have. I don't care how many towers he have, how many private planes and jets and, you know, and um, helicopters he have, how much gold and um, how many mail order brides he get, fake kids. I don't care what he got. The dude is a loser. He's a loser with a capital L. In fact, loser, all caps. In fact, break the cap button on him. The dude is a straight up loser. He got a Republican. He talking about shutting down the government. He want to shut down the government. He got a Republican. He got a Republican president, a Republican Congress, and a Republican Supreme Court. <laughs> if you want to shut down the government, if you want to shut down your government, go right ahead. Knock yourself out. Be my guest. Hey, if you like the videos I'm presenting to you, make sure you go check out the Patreon page. Patreon.com slash Willie D. Live. The link is in the description. No more talk. What, what the ladies talking about? Yeah. Order, Texas.